Ida Rex, kaboom. And guys, this is a special episode. Did quite a bit of research on this. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This is about quad rotor swarms. So, I was actually in class today and they rescheduled it. So, it went to a speech by one of the top robotics experts in the country, United States of America. He's an advisor to the president from University of Penn, Pennsylvania. And his name was Vijay Kumar. Yeah. Um, so he did a whole speech on what quad rotors are, how they work. They're all automated robots driving themselves. And all these old people are there, super smart. The average IQ of the room must have been off the charts. And I'm just sitting there thinking about Call of Duty, all, like, all the implications it had to the campaign, to the multiplayer. I was having a blast doing it. Um, I'll tell you guys that. I actually put in some of the footage that he showed some of the quad rotors swarming. It's really cool. You guys will see it in a little bit. So that's going to be coming. Uh, about this gameplay, this was last night. I jumped into some solo uh, hardpoint. Like, I just went in by myself to a lobby. And I'm, I wouldn't say I went try hard, but I wanted to do well. So I ran around, uh, got some kills, really helped my team. I think I ended up with, like, close to 50 kills or something around there. It was pretty high. Um, I was definitely the highest score. So back to the quad rotors. It's pretty cool. Um, the school I'm at, we get the opportunities to see stuff like this. And this is what he showed. So, these quad rotors they were doing are just like the ones in video games. They don't have any payload on them right now. Um, but they're all, see, here they are. This is them swarming. So, if you don't, this is going to be a spoiler free episode. But if you don't know about the campaign of Call of Duty, I have not played it. So, it's not going to be spoilers. Everything in the trailer. But basically, a bad person takes control of the robots. In the United States, all the automated stuff and unautomated stuff, that's what the AGR is, the quad rotor, and the Call of Duty guys have to destroy it. That's basically what it is. And one of the things they do is quad rotors. So, what we learned today at this speech is ridiculously smart people was how these quad rotors worked, the, what's, their, what's going well with them, what they need to work on, and what the process to make them better is. So these quad rotors, the amount of power they put out was just ridiculous. And all the different things they can do, you're going to see some of the footage of them swarming, this is them doing a figure eight, um, them flipping, uh, some of the smaller ones were just amazing. Uh, I think they're about 20 or 200 to 400 watts per kilogram, if you know what those kind of numbers are. Um, I'm a big cyclist on a climb. I'm doing like six, and Lance is doing like seven watts per kilogram. So these are huge numbers. This is the flip. That's a quarter of a second to do a complete rotation. That is freaking amazing. Um, sorry for this jumping around. Uh, it's actually, we're just slower parts of the game. We throw in some other footage. Um, so that way, I'm actually controlling the uh, hard point right now. But, okay, back to quad rotors. Okay, so they all have little computer chips in them. Some of them have cameras. These ones do not have cameras. Uh, these are using cameras on the outside to position them because they're not to that point technology wise but some of the larger ones they had in other parts of the speech uh, they were positioning themselves with cameras and reading them out almost like a heat map for Call of Duty they were reading taking readings of what's around them and making a 3d map and flying through it it was really cool and the potential that has for military use especially something it's it's sooner than 2025 this is gonna be quick so they take these readings and they look around and, and see what their environment is. Quad rotors are great because there's four turbines. There's actually six dimensions they're dealing with. Uh, with uh, the position in the environment they're at, which is a hard thing to tell where you're at. But then also the rotational um, and the time and the speed they're moving, momentum. So the small ones are really agile. And in this game, they're using the kill streak is you have a controllable quad rotor, but Quad rotors are the point where they can almost control themselves. The thing you'd be controlling with a quad rotor is you'd be controlling the gun. That's a little bit in the future. They don't really have the they have the strength to do it for a short time, but not efficiently to carry a heavy payload and to efficiently shoot a weapon on them. But it's definitely there. They're one of the most stable things you can have. So it was really exciting. Um, some of the other cool stuff is how they work together. So this is them in formation. Uh, this is actually just them sewing a perfect transition. So they break them up. You saw when before and there's 20 quad rotors. They break them up into groups of five to four quad rotors who work together to complete a task. And then within that group, they know where the other groups are to keep them safe. But they can fly in ridiculously tight spaces. They're going through doorways that they can only fit in if they go horizontal or if they only go vertical. Oh, it was so exciting seeing all this technology 
Um, especially with its relation to Call of Duty. I, I can't wait for the future. The future is cool. I, as cheesy as that sounds, I'm, I'm stoked for it. And it was really cool to see these. Too bad we didn't see them in action. It was all in a PowerPoint. A um, bunch of old people probably get their necks chopped off by the little razors on the things. But really cool. Um, they're getting to the point where they actually used... Um, they're trying to put cameras on top of on the quad rotors for some of the ones where they actually make the maps of the environment they're in. They are putting cameras on top of the quad rotors uh, because that's the future of it. That's what they're going to need. Um, and they actually used a Kinect camera. So I guess Kinect is one of the better cameras out there for sensing distance away, I guess. I'm not sure. They also used uh, mirror sense. Kinect all faces 170 degrees forward, which is quite a bit. Um, they put mirrors so they could go... Uh, that project one camera up and one camera down so they know how far they are from the ground or from the ceiling uh, just for safety and for positioning reasons. So it's really cool <laughs> that they're using Xbox stuff in the highest technology quad rotors and automated flight in the world. And also in the beginning of his speech he was showing the other automated vehicles they have now. He's showing the Predator, the Reaper, and the Global something. You guys, I don't know if you know much about it. Uh, there's one other one. But these are all Call of Duty things. It, it was pretty cool. So <laughs> there's that. Um, what else was there? Uh, so about the cameras, they're slowly working to put more cameras on here. So it would be something that could go outside of the rooms. The cameras, the ones with cameras on them could fly wherever they wanted to. And that's the future of warfare is it's all going to be automated. They're all going to be running around and humans are going to have very little to do with it. It's going to be the programmers, the computer scientists who are going to be controlling the battlefield as crazy as that sounds. Bill Gates was right when he said you better be next to the nerds because someday they're going to be your boss. At this point, they're going to be the ones carrying the weapons. Oh, the future is awesome. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I'm actually a computer science major. But we're trying to stay away from the nerd-isms and... Um, yeah, I guess we play video games, though, so that doesn't really count. Um, yeah. So, there's the future of quad rotors. I hope you guys enjoyed that segment of it. Um, there's going to be some more footage coming up soon. Uh, there's some cool stuff these quad rotors can do. Uh, if you saw in some of them, let's just describe what you saw. So, you saw the 20 quad rotors going in formation. Okay, this one, what it does is he throws it, and it picks up its... See the cameras on the wall? It picks up its position and gets back to where it was. So that's the whole point of it is it has to stabilize and get back to where it was. Um, so it's quickly doing all sorts of calculations on there. Um, actually the CPU only uses 5% of the power that the thing requires. The other 95% is for the quad rotor motors which is I was expecting it to be much higher for the CPU. Computers have progressed far enough where we don't need all the other junk. Um, the computers can be pretty small and lightweight so there's a quad rotor, yeah buddy, um, there you go, 2025, those are definitely going to be in the military by then, so there's that one, um, there's the ones that are going through obstacles, because a big thing is that your environment is never a perfect square, I guess this map's not that perfect of a representation of that, I don't know how I didn't win that gunfight, um, your environment's never a perfect square, so it has to make the environment around you, um, and that's what all the cameras for are for, and it has to sense all that. So, oh, here's a black hat. I just started using that pretty baller kill uh, equipment. I'm not sure if it's really worth it, but we're deciding. Um, so there's that one. Uh, they have to go through environments. They go through a window with the big formations. Um, in some of the other videos, they had them go through windows solo um, at speed, which is pretty cool, or go through waypoints. But there's the different things that the oh, I don't know what happened there. Uh, the different things they're gonna have to go through with that. Um, yeah, and there's another one. If you look up VJ Kumar, University of Pennsylvania, James Bond or Quad Rotor or someone like that, he has a video where he has Quad Rotors playing the James Bond theme song on instruments. So they're like running into them, or once uh, has like a guitar pick and he's running over a guitar. It was really cool and the potential. How much control they have over these quad rotors is amazing. I love this technology. It's so cool um, that we're going to see it in our lifetime, at least all the young audience. I think we're all pretty young watching my videos. That this is a thing that we're going to see. This technology is just around the corner. I'm stoked. Hope you guys are. Um, that's This is the video wrapping, out, wrapping down. Uh, we took this in one take, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, put quite a bit of effort into this, so... If you stayed till here, if you enjoyed, if you learned something, 
I'd appreciate it if you gave me a like, um, maybe subscribe if you're new around here. Uh, I'm trying to put more effort into my videos, so there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Been your boy Ida Rex. Peace. And we get the kill cam, the final kill right here. I think. Watch this guy laying in the corner. I just found this way to enter up. Quick tips: jump up there. There we go. Peace. Good job, seals. Stand by for further orders. Oh uh, fuck.